Hey guys, welcome to episode 9 of Lottie's Locks, the second NBA edition. Only three games, and I have two locks. Let's get started. First lock, under 240 points, New Orleans versus the Los Angeles Clippers. Regression to the mean. The New Orleans Pelicans scored 131 points in their first game and followed that up with 149. They will be one of the higher scoring teams throughout the entirety of the NBA season because they like to push the pace, shoot a lot of threes. But do they have the weapons to sustain this level of offense all season long? They shot 53% in their first game and 59% in their second game. The highest field goal percentage by an NBA team uh, during the regular season was 54 Basically 55% Los Angeles Lakers way back in 1984-85 when they weren't shooting as many threes. Less threes equals higher percentage of looks equals higher field goal percentage. Nikola Meritich is currently leading the New Orleans Pelicans in scoring with 33 points per game. He's now entering his seventh season in the NBA and he's never averaged more than 16 points per game. You see here, this is just in the first 25 games last season he was averaging 17 points per game before he got traded to New Orleans for the last 30 games that he played last season. You see here, this is all in 2017, 18, and he only averaged 14 and a half points per game. Regression to the mean. It's time for Nikola Meritich and the New Orleans Pelicans to slow down just a little bit. Now, part of the reason why they scored so many points in their first two games is because both their opponents are also teams that like to push the pace and shoot a lot of threes. That's not the Los Angeles Clippers. You see here, Number one in the league in pace, Sacramento Kings. Number two, New Orleans Pelicans. Number eight, the Houston Rockets. You have to go all the way down to 19 to find the Los Angeles Clippers, who are taking about 10 fewer shots per game than the Pelicans. And they have some dogs on the defensive side of the ball. Patrick Beverly, Avery Bradley, Montrez Harrell, Luke Mbamute. Everywhere you look, they got guys who can D up and make life difficult for the New Orleans guards and forwards. The only player... They don't have an answer for us, Anthony Davis, which is the case for every team in the NBA. But you want the Pelicans to go to Davis as much as possible because he's trying to score two, not three. Getting the ball in the post and then scoring in the post takes time, which is great for the under. Lock number one, under 240 points, Pelicans versus the Clippers. Lock number two, Sacramento Kings plus 12 on the road against the Denver Nuggets. Betting on NBA basketball during the regular season is tricky because there's so many games. Guys take nights off. The value of an individual game is really dependent on who they're playing and how the team has been performing up until that point. Let me explain using an example. The Denver Nuggets are 3-0 coming off a huge comeback victory Sunday night against the defending champion Golden State Warriors. Sold out arena. Crowd buzzing because, look, we're going toe-to-toe with the champs. Adrenaline pumping through the veins of the Denver Nuggets players. Now it's Tuesday night. You're playing the Sacramento Kings. Will the arena be as full? Will the crowd be as excited? Will the players be as excited to play the Kings after they just beat the Warriors? I imagine the Denver Nuggets will get off to a slow start in this game. But even if they get out to a big lead, it's going to be easy for them to relax. They'll start feeling like, we got this. And once they take their foot off the gas, that's when the Kings will battle back. And the Sacramento Kings are pretty good, by the way. They were blown out by the Pelicans, but so were the Rockets. They lost a close one against the Utah Jazz, and they just beat the Oklahoma City Thunder in Oklahoma City. They will be a tough, competitive team all season long. 12 points is too much for Denver to cover, given the circumstances. Lock number two, Sacramento Kings, plus 12 against the Denver Nuggets. That's all for today's edition of Lottie's Locks. Tune in tomorrow for another episode. Enjoy the games tonight, and bet responsibly.